All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here to bring you a video on BNB, Binance Coin. We'll be uh, doing some quick and dirty technical analysis. There's a lot of very interesting things going on, so we're going to delve into it. Uh, we have Messin here with us. What up, man? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, so we, uh, we're we going to talk about uh, technical analysis, what we see happening kind of in the short term here. So let's begin by looking at the daily here, and we'll take a look at our EMAs. So I'll just mention right off the bat here, um, you know, with, with our RSI, We've had a major run up and we're getting lower highs on the RSI, right, man? And we're, we're right up against major resistance here. So we've both been talking about how we could like see a, a further pullback here potentially. Yeah, no, 100%. I think even if we um, just zooming out in general, we're getting to the um, resistance at the 39, 40 like, yeah, area. Like $40, yeah. So 100%. Whatever we're seeing now, a bit of a retracement, I think it's almost around the what now four almost four percent went all the way down to minus six percent uh retracement but um that is expected so um, obviously the macd is overextended uh, the rsi is in the oversold region we saw a huge spike on the daily volume too yep um so we're at a pivotal point right now are we going to pass through it or no i think we have to go to the uh, smaller time frames yeah that's what we'll take we'll take a look here at the one hour but uh, sorry four hour before we do also, just to keep in mind, let's say we do get a, a, a larger correction. We can see here the 100, 200 EMAs on the daily act as critical support. So I think 100 would the 100 EMA would be pretty significant support. Honestly, like the $30 region, yeah. I think it's going to count as, as pretty substantial support. So we'll see right. if we uh, if we do indeed correct. But let's take a look at the four hour here. Um, so if I can just throw out here right off the bat, four hour bearish crossover on the MACD. RSI making lower highs. That looks pretty right. bearish to me, man. Plus, add the vo the fact that the volume is down, like it's 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 reducing as we go. But if we're looking at the four hour, we did find the support between the hundred and two hundred EMAs. So every time we get into that zone, we have that nice shoot right up. But I think we're also reacting to the eight EMA right now. So we're trying to see if we're gonna hold above it or no. But the four hours showing us that lower RSI, the stochastic RSI is all the way in the bottom, so we might have another leg up. MACD crossover, just like you said, so looks like the next maybe four, two or three candles might be um, uh, continuing the retracement, but the fact that we've been having um, uh, nice buy pressure, I'm not sure if, if, if the retracement is going to continue, so maybe it's... Uh, on the hourly chart, we'll see something more specific. Yeah, so so let's go to the hourly, but just real quick, um, th this is just the the regular RSI, but it, it means the same thing, right? Yeah, I was just looking at my uh, stochastic. Oh, on RSI. your end, I got you, I got you. Yeah, but yes, you are you are right about the one hour. The one hour looks very interesting, guys, because if we're zooming out, yeah, you know, we had a run up, we're kind of overextended, extended, we can expect a pullback. But guys, a bullish crossover on the MACD RSI making higher highs, and look at the look at price action. We're currently, if we can get above like the thirty-eight dollar, um, this is going to test some of the higher regions. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we do have some good buy pressure right now, for sure. Yes, and one interesting, very interesting thing to note. Uh, I'm going to draw a line here on the RSI, and if we zoom in, we seem to be breaking out bullishly above the RSI. And in terms of volume, yeah. an interesting thing to note is how flat this volume is. So if we get a sudden spike. In, in volume either sell or buy uh, that will be very telling uh, what direction we're going to go here in the short term because we're also forming what could be interpreted as a you know a potential descending uh, triangle here I don't know if you'd agree with that yeah could be yeah, could be could be the only thing I would actually like to point out on the one hour um, I know you don't have the stochastic RSI, but we actually went all the way up in the, with the stochastic RSI to the oversold region, and we tried to go down, but it didn't show. Um, it, it just spiked right back up. So it's telling us that people, the buyers are coming in at smaller and smaller intervals at every spike, meaning that they're getting ready. Uh, they're getting ready to buy more and more. And uh, I man, it's, it looks like it's trying to break out right it now. It could break out. Yeah, it could break out. So, I mean, if we see price go above 38.80, I mean, that would pretty much land us outside this triangle here. Right. And, if, right. and again, guys, if we break above $40, that's price discovery, right? Like at least for this cycle. Like I'm not, I'm not uh, aware if, 
if we've gone uh, above 40, maybe before, maybe back in 2017. But at least for this go around, uh, $40 has been, su- uh, I mean, tremendously significant resistance. But so if we go above that, guys, you know, we're, we're right. entering price discovery, right? So, oh, yeah. yeah oh, so, yeah. I, I, I think, agree. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's very pivotal right now. The next couple of hours, I think, is is, is, is very important in terms of what's going to happen. We did find that support on the 55 VMA if, uh, uh, on the hourly chart, which is very good. Um, uh, yes. We could try this right now, try to break past the 37 or 38, um, I would say maybe 38.2, but very pivotal the next couple of hours. Yeah, look, and if anything interesting happens with uh, with uh, BNB here, we will definitely be talking about it in our Discord. Link to join that will be down in the description below. Uh, we interact with our members all the time, so make sure to check that out. That's most of my thoughts for the moment. I don't know about you, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, all right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. That's it for now, y'all. Take care.